Hey guys, what's up? It's Austin here. This video is gonna be about this guy. So let's do a reveal of what it is. Cause you guys seen a preview, this exact same preview, last video. So you guys are probably curious to just know what it is if you've seen it in the last video. So, here we go. Phantom 4 Pro. Get a nice close up of that. Yeah. DJI Phantom 4 Pro. I know I'm a little late on the unboxings, but this is going to be an unboxing and a flight test first flight test and unboxing so and if we don't get to the flight test or this video becomes too long we'll do that in the next one but this will be the unboxing and I got an extra battery right there I bought one extra battery for it as well because 30 minutes of flight time just isn't enough. I need at least an hour. For me at least. 30 minutes. 30 minutes is oh yeah nice. You got a, a little f a fly time. But then you got to wait the 2 hours it takes to charge the battery. Or however long. I'm not sure how long it takes to charge these batteries. But yeah. So. I'll see you in the unboxing position. Okay. Peace. Psych. Did you guys think I was gonna go anywhere? Nope. I don't got no magic camera set up that I can do any professional unboxing. So it's gonna be right here. I'm just gonna back up so you guys can see it a little better. And we're gonna start with the battery. Just something to get our mind going and racing one second I'm gonna grab a knife got it it's just on my desk there so here goes nothing But yeah, guys, um, I guess I'll talk to you while I am cutting this stuff open. But um, the reason why I think the flight test will have to wait till the next video is because of the fact uh, today is actually quite windy. Like, you can see the trees moving, and it wouldn't be a good day to fly a drone or anything. Yeah, so you open the package here and you get this, the battery comes in a styrofoam thing. And I picked this up from Best Buy. I didn't order it. And so it didn't come in a big uh, brown box or anything else. So I don't know what it would have came with otherwise. But you just got a Phantom 4 Pro slash Pro Plus Intelligent Flight Battery Pamphlet. If you guys can see that there, kind of reaching, and it's bright out. As you can see, my face a little bit glitters, glistering in, within the sun. Nothing else in the box. This 
besides the pamphlet there and the battery itself and it comes in this styrofoam material you can see it's right there the battery with all the writing on it so if you just pop this out Oh, the battery's got some juice. Oh, it shut off. But there, you can see the battery's got a little bit of juice. Yeah, it was actually packed quite nicely in there. So it wouldn't uh, bang around or fall out. Obviously, it's not going to fall out of a super small box. That's literally just to fit the battery, but it's not going to bang around. That's nice. So like if you were to order it on the DJI website, I bet you it would come in the same type of package here. And that's nice to know. So yeah, this is going to be a second battery, which is nice charger thing there. Okay, that's a small thing. I'm going to put this back in the uh, foam. Where did that foam go? I'm stupid. Put it back in here. You know what? I'm not gonna put it in the phone. Why am I wasting you guys some time? You guys probably want to get to see the drone itself. And yes, I'll do some close-ups with the drone once I get her opened here. Now, there's a few reasons why I chose to go with the Phantom 4 Pro or the Phantom series over getting the Mavic Pro. Um, for a couple of reasons. One is that this has rear obstacle avoidance, like you know, or if you've seen drones before or seen the Mavic, uh, Phantom, or Mavic, the Phantom 4 Pro before, you know it has the rear obstacle sensors in which I actually really wanted or really would like because I plan to use this to record myself uh, surfing or wakeboarding on the boat and it'll be helpful for trees so I can use active track and it'll be able to see behind it as where well the Mavic wouldn't be able to. Now you'd think, but wouldn't you want the Mavic or the Phantom for on the boat for portability? Yes, I thought about that. But then I also thought about um, how are you going to take it off from the boat or like in the middle of the lake or even land it because you don't want to get it wet or you don't want to misland it. So that's why I also got the Phantom instead of the Mavic because you can catch land it and you can do hand takeoffs with the, its feet as you can see I'm pointing right here too with its feet. And with the Mavic, it doesn't have any feet like that, and you can't do that. Yes, you can catch land it and hand take off, but it takes practice. And yes, I could have took that time to practice, but I just didn't want to worry about chopping my fingers off or severely cutting myself with the propellers. And then another reason why I chose the Phantom over the Mavic is because the Mavic if you've seen all over YouTube, I bet, um, with its 1080p 60 frames per second footage and how washed out it is and anything really over 30 frames, if you go to 1080 60 or 1080 48 even or 720 at 120 frames per second, it just looks all washed out and garbage. With the Phantom 4 Pro, no problem. And that's another reason why. I just wanted to be able to shoot at any frame rate without needing or without uh, having to care or take the time to know that I can't shoot in that frame rate that's going to look like garbage footage. And then this also shoots in 4K 60 frames and then can take 20 megapixel still photos, which is really nice.
so let's get to it. Giant box here. DGI Phantom right on there. Now I've seen videos of people unboxing these and flying them. And I always thought about getting one, never pulled the trigger just because of how expensive they are. But man, am I gonna have fun with this? So it's just like any other DJI box or Phantom box. You just turn it, open it up, and look at that monstrosity of a beauty. Let's get a close up shot of that. Thumbnail right here. I'm I'm feeling a thumbnail right here. <laughs> yep, that's the th one of those are gonna be the thumbnail. But yeah, guys. Oh my gosh. I didn't get the Pro Plus with the integrated screen because I didn't want to spend that much more money. And I would actually prefer to use my phone over the screen. Just because, although the screen is brighter than your phone screen, the built in one that you can buy the purchase, the Pro Plus one. But it's just for me really cost that, that I didn't want to spend that much. But let's take this plastic wrap off here. If I can figure it out. Or, sorry, I don't think it's plastic wrap, I think it's just plastic. I think it's just a Okay, after thinking long and hard, I'm just gonna cut the plastic. I'm not gonna try to be too gentle with it. Taking it out and stuff, I, w I wanna keep everything in conditioned, as in like I bought it, but, cause I like to be neat like that, but I just don't wanna hassle with it. Okay, now there's a little thing around this. DJI does really package well, for sure. No doubt about that. Okay, plastic wraps off. Look at that controller. Beauty. We'll set that down for now. Who? What do we got here? Okay, we got this little guy. We got a... What is it? It's a... Hold on, guys. Quick second. I'm gonna plug you guys in. You're dying here. But no, I just had to plug you guys in because you were at 20%. But you get this little guy in a side compartment here. Right here, you get it. Oh. It came right in here, just like this. But no, it's a USB. You can see. To a micro USB. 
it's a USB to micro USB, which is nice. I'll have I'll find some use for that for sure. And then taking this out right here, you got your propellers, I believe, because I've watched a few unboxings. In the nice uh, sleeve that you're just gonna pull open here yep you got your propellers your eight propellers which is nice so we'll have these we'll set these down aside. We'll set those down aside. Sorry, my chair is squeaking. If you couldn't hear me the first time, I just repeated myself. But, and you got right under the propellers. We'll get that out after. Let's get to the, let's look at the paperwork. We'll have to get the drone out. We'll get the drone out next. We're gonna set that down though now. But we gotta get the drone out before we get the charger or anything else out. But we get the papers right there. Oh, upside down, I think, for you guys. Yeah, Phantom 4 Pro right there. We're not gonna read through this. I just wanna see what we all get in here. And you guys might be interested too, I don't know. You can do a 10 second skip ahead if you want double tapping on a mobile phone if you are watching from a mobile phone or I believe clicking L to skip 10 seconds forward each time yeah so I'm probably gonna read through this off camera here so I know uh, everything about it because I do not want to mess anything up yeah, you're gonna get a in this little part here. You're gonna get information. You're gonna get information about the battery, the Phantom Four Series battery. You're gonna get information about a disclaimer and safety guidelines, right there, and then. Obviously, I'm going to have to go on to the FAA and register my drone for $7 because otherwise you're going to be flying illegally. And then you got the quick start guide right there, which I will be reading through off camera. This is going to be a longer video, so I hope you guys are um, stay tuned and enjoying. Grab a snack and watch or whatever. And then you got a DJI Care Refresh, or a DJI Care, kind of like Apple Care or GoPro Care. Yep, right there. You got 48 hours to um, to enter and sign up for it, which I don't know if I'll be doing because it's quite expensive for. But yeah. And so, it j and then this is just what you get in the box, which is j everything for a little pamphlet, which you get the aircraft, obviously, the controller, four propellers, an intelligent flight battery, battery charger, power cable, gimbal clamp, micro SD card, 16 gigabyte. Then you're going to get a USB to micro USB cable, micro USB cable itself, and then the carrying case. So yeah. And then you got a flying safe thing and yeah. Okay, you guys don't care about that. You guys probably skipped ahead till now. But here she is. DJI Phantom 4 Pro. If you didn't believe me that it was the Pro, 
because of the box enough. We'll look at that. Rear obstacle sensors and infrared side obstacle sensors. So, yeah. That's that. We're going to peel off these stickers here. Because we want this drone looking clean as possible. It's just warning labels that say, ensure that the propellers is securely installed before flying match black ring propellers with motors with black dots so yeah there are two um, motors here with black dots on the top locking bits and there are two of them with white locking bits so there's going to be two different types of two, there's going to be two different types of it? two different types of propellers couldn't think of the name so yeah and it comes with the battery inside here and we got any juice oh just the same amount of juice as we got before with the other battery the actual one and we got the bottom sensors there too so yeah we're gonna set this down aside because I do not want to mess with that or break that and then what we also are going to get in the box, as I read off to you before, is the micro USB cable. Nothing fancy. And you're going to get the big old charging brick for the batteries. And which is nice is you can charge your battery with that. And then you can charge your remote control with this, because your remote control obviously needs to be charged as well. Yeah, so you can charge both at once, which is really nice. And then you got your wall adapter to your power brick. You're gonna need that obviously. And then you got your little extra you got a little thing here that pops off. That says batteries. I don't know if you guys can read that. Just maybe barely. I don't know. It's very faintly. Easy to see with the eyes, but camera not so much. But yeah, you can store your batteries in there. It looks like you can store up to four maybe. It's two here and then two over here. But yeah. So yeah, that's going to be nice. But yeah guys, that was the complete unboxing of the DJI. Not much of a review, more of an unboxing. But it, I guess the review to it for me would be that... Uh, the fact of why I purchased the Phantom 4 Pro, the drone I just unboxed, over the Mavic, which I was also thinking about getting. Because I was thinking about either getting the Mavic or the Phantom 4 Pro. Thought long and hard about it, watched a bunch of YouTube videos, other reviews, unboxings, and everything else for about a month maybe two months even I know I like to do my research maybe you guys don't like to do stuff like that but I want to know what I'm getting and what is best for me and what I feel as though before just going out and impulse buying it or purchasing it and then ending up hating it and wanting the other thing so hope you guys uh, could understand this longer video but um, maybe you guys want to get a drone I don't know uh, thinking about getting one sadly I'm sorry this video it wasn't a video about whether or not which drone to get but I got the Phantom 4 Pro I am really glad about my purchase and yeah hope to see you guys in the next one and hope you guys enjoyed leave a like comment subscribe be sure to check out my next video It'll be up as soon as possible. 
of a, fl a flight test, first flight look with this guy. Okay? So, you'll see the next video in the skies. Because sky's the limit, right? But wait, there's footprints on the moon. Oh boy. The cringiest, the cringiest uh, motivational thing ever. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. I talked long enough. It's been Austin, and I'm out. Peace. See you next weekend.